Welcome to Indie Chocolate. We want to show you how to hand temper your chocolate. You need a marble slab, a hair dryer, metal spatulas, scooper for molding, a silicon spatula, a thermometer, a bowl, your melted chocolate of choice and two pieces of paper and they should be labeled with test 1 and test 2. Let's get started. First we need to melt our chocolate. Then it's time for our first test. Cover your, your paper with chocolate and allow it to cool down in your cooling unit. Pour two-thirds of your chocolate onto the slab and one-third into a bowl and set the bowl aside. Move chocolate with your spatulas from the outside to the center, over and over again. Check the temperature regularly until you reach 28 to 29 degrees Celsius or 82 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the big question is, why is it so important to first melt chocolate, then decrease the temperature and then increase it again? First we have to melt chocolate because we need to get rid of all the fatty crystals. Because there's only one crystal form that we want that creates the snap and the shininess of our chocolate and that's crystal type 5. To get to this crystal type we have to create seeds. We're creating those seeds when we pull down the temperature on the slab and stirring the chocolate with our spatulas. We bring those seeds into the bowl with the warmer chocolate and stir it in by hand. Uh, we have to reach a temperature between 31 to 32 degree Celsius or 88 to 90 degree Fahrenheit. Make your second temper test. Cover your second paper with chocolate and allow it to cool. And then it's time to start molding or whatever you want to do with tempered chocolate. Let's check our tests. First you see test number one. It's the untempered chocolate. It's pretty dull. It doesn't shine. With test number two you see it's glossy and shiny. And now listen. While breaking test number one, you only can hear the sound of the paper. With test number two, you hear clear snap. It's also very good to see that the untempered chocolate test number one has a lower melting point. You can see it on the hands of Greta and on the test itself. 